Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna talk about something that uh, is a really clever little concept uh, that was given to me by my very first IT manager, the guy that gave me a chance in this industry and without whom I probably wouldn't be doing this. I'd be off doing something completely different. So the idea is there's two really important like types of information in this industry. There are the things that you already know that you don't know about. So these are like technologies you've heard of or things you know that you should probably be doing like configuration management or um, continuous integration or whatever. Um, and then there are unknown unknowns. The things that you don't know and you have no idea that you're missing them. That's actually one of the hardest parts of starting in this industry, I think, is it's so wide that the amount, the sheer like number of technologies out there and number of approaches to doing things and things that were the norm five years ago and are no longer a best practice because it's done totally differently now, the number of those things is huge. It's more than you could you know memorize if you sat there every day and like learned one a day or learned 10 a day. So the idea is, one of the really important things starting out is to immerse yourself in the culture of technology, system administration, programming. Um, immerse yourself in that culture to uh, kind of start absorbing the unknown unknowns and kind of making them known unknowns so that you actually start to have some kind of frame of reference for where you are in the tech world and vague outlines at least of other parts of the tech world, you know, programming, data science, cloud stuff, you know, running a data center, all the hundreds of niches that you could get into, uh, probably thousands. And just, you need to hang out on communities that start giving you vague ideas and start filling in those blanks um, over time. Places like Hacker News uh, and Reddit, like the Reddit sysadmin subreddit, are a great place to hang out, Reddit. Linux, uh, the Unix ones are particularly good, although way lower traffic. Um, those kinds of places where you're surrounded by people in your community that you don't work with uh, are really useful for kind of building up your database of stuff you've heard about. It's not stuff you know about necessarily, but it's just stuff you've heard about so that it is at least kind of bookmarked as some kind of concept that's out there. What that allows you to do is then when you have to solve problems later on, you aren't completely blind and totally trying to use a, the wrong solution for the problem you've got. You at least have some idea of like, oh, there's a database that is a time series database. It's called InfluxDB. And it kind of sounds like the problem we're dealing with now might need a time series database because we want you know, we want to keep metrics with exact time accuracy and we want to have tons of them. And, you know, that's kind of what we're trying to do. Well, that concept and just knowing that that sort of thing exists and what kind of things it's been used for, you don't have to have worked with it. You don't need to know how to install it or what commands, you know, it accepts. You just need to know that that concept exists and it solves problem X. And then you can always look, you know, if, if five years later you hear about, a problem that seems like it needs that, you know, that library or that product might not be the king of that niche anymore. But if you look it up, you'll very quickly probably find whatever the new product is that is being used for that or the new like conceptual framework for dealing with your problem. So hanging out in communities where there's so much stuff that you couldn't read it all kind of flying by, that will help you slowly kind of fill in your mental map or your mental model of what all this crap in IT is and what it does and how to solve kind of different classes of problems that you're gonna run into. So make that one of your missions. If you're not part of a community already, have a look around. Um, I should probably make a video on finding the right kind of community and what to stay away from because especially over the last 10, 15 years, so much marketing money has been thrown at uh, technology companies it can often be really hard to distinguish hype from actual technical information. Um, like if you ask people why they use 
certain very popular technologies today probably don't have an answer that makes any kind of sense because it's just hype and marketing drive so much of the new stuff that you see. Um, when in reality, yeah, there's been changes in 20 years, but like an operating systems book from 20 years ago will still get you like 70% of the way to modern times. Um, and the rest are like details that you you can learn. You know, don't believe that hype. The, the marketing hype is tech changes every five minutes. Oh, everything we knew yesterday is wrong today. Oh, why even get a computer science degree? Because everything you learn will be outmoded in, in, in four years when you graduate. That is fucking bullshit. It is complete bullshit. There is an element of truth somewhere in there, but it's been embellished so much and so much marketing, you know, advertising money has been thrown at it that it's unrecognizable as a truth of any kind. So don't let those things discourage you and don't kind of buy into that hype that things are moving so fast that, um, you know, I can just kind of safely ignore everything. Focus on learning the underlying fundamentals of your craft, our industry, technology, how computers work, how they work sort of at a physical level, at the first logical level, operating systems on top of that, interpreters and programming languages. Learn the basics of those things and you'll be much harder to mislead. Um, kind of went off in a different direction there, but uh, I think that's good. I think that's kind of an important thing to remember. So focus on joining a community preferably with older people, uh, sort of more mature people, or a few different communities, and read. You know, read as much as you can. Focus on the fundamentals, but, you know, kind of keep an ear to the ground for how different people are solving different classes of problems, like storage problems, um, distributed computing problems, networking things, um, how they're doing kind of cloud infrastructure, how uh, different types of data are being um, worked on or retrieved with different kinds of databases, kind of different data models, I guess you could say. Um, th these things are like, they're not going away anytime soon. So if you learn how these things are done, you're not wasting your time. Okay, that is my advice for today. So uh, there you go. See you in the next one. Thanks.